In this video, I found Singaporean restaurants that look like this. It looks promising. I mean, one of them is called Singapore. It gotta be authentic, right? But, Enjoy this video. Alright, here we are at Milan, the Singaporean restaurant. Shouldn't be too far from here, but before that, there's something I have to eat. So we came to a gelato place called Chiaco. It's our favorite gelato place in Milan. I got the ricotta cheese and pistachio flavor. Wow, look at how sticky and fresh that looks. Mmm. Next up, the pistachio. Wow, <laughs> that's so nutty. Really, one of the best gelatos you can get. And we are here. Check this out, guys. Ristolante Singapore. I'm so happy when I found this restaurant on Google Maps. I mean, it's called Singapore. It gotta be authentic, right? Yeah, mo chicken rice, toka Hokkien mee, toka bakte, toka laksa, toka. Sugoi tanoshimi desu ne. Mo butchake datte ryokou dete. Ima ni shukan me gurai nanzuke do. Mo mikka me gurai kara Asia shoku ga koishiku na naru desu yo. Alright, I guess it's about time. Are you excited, wifey? Yes. Let's check it out. Restaurant in Singapore, in Italy. Here we are, like, <laughs> it's so interesting because the vibe is like an Italian restaurant. Look at the wine glasses on the table, how the napkin is laid. And for some reason, the chopstick says Miyagi in Japanese. And Miyagi is a prefecture in Japan. I have no idea why, why it says Miyagi here. It looks kind of out of place, but excited. Let's check out the menu. All right, so they got antipasti, dumpling soup, vegetables, duck, beef. I've been looking at the menu for a while, but there's no Singaporean food. So we got like the, the traditional like Chi Chinese food. Like they got the you know dumplings and ramen and stuff, but I can't find you know like curry mi, laksa, chicken rice. Absolutely zero. Singapore Eh? Yeah, really, no Singaporean food. But some menu, I noticed they got uh, the word Singapore style. For example, this one, salted noodles in Singapore style. Singapore style duck. I'm looking for like Singapore cuisine. Do you have like uh, chicken rice and like laksa? No, chicken rice. Ah, you don't have Singaporean food. Guys, did you hear that? They don't have Singapore food. Why if you have a question, what is Singapore style duck? I don't know, is it roast duck? But the review here is good. Maybe it's roast duck. Oh, the, mm -hmm. There's only two kinds of Chinese duck, right? Roast or the braised. I think so. This two types. Yeah, nanika okashi to motta n desu yo. Nanka, tein san, China dress kiteru shi. The only thing Singaporean is the orchid back there. But. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the Murd Lion logo. But that one also looks kind of different. Like. It's not the cute Murd Lion, I know. <laughs> It's a bit skinny, it's kind of different. But we are so happy we hear Chinese from the kitchen over there. It's gonna be great, I hope. Are you receiving scam phone calls and texts recently? These are increasing in Singapore. You must have wondered, how did your phone number get exposed by these scammers? Well, it might be because you are using the public Wi-Fi without connecting to a VPN like Surfshark, who is kindly sponsoring today's video. Public Wi-Fis often have very weak security, meaning your important passwords and private information can be stolen relatively easily. So that's why I always connect to Surfshark when using the public Wi-Fi. It helps me mess up my online activity. By using Surfshark, you can also view websites blocked in your region. For example, in Italy, Yahoo Japan is blocked. But by using Surfshark and changing my virtual location to Japan, I am able to access Yahoo Japan again where I keep up with the Japanese news. So if you are interested, click the link in the description box below and use my code OJISAN to get 85% off and 3 extra months for free. So the first dish has arrived. Chiro Chiro. Chiro Chiro. 
I don't know what chilo chilo is. And the second dish has arrived. I think that's the Singapore style noodles. I can't wait to get to that, but before that, let's try the uh, fried rice. The meat is very complete, so it's a little bit. But it's very Asian. This, like, I think, lettuce, vegetable, green pea, and lettuce. Okay. Cheers. <laughs> this is so good. I mean, we've been traveling for two weeks and we never had proper Asian food, right? We had once, but it was like very ammo, ammo Chinese food. That is authentic. Oh, so happy. Yeah, try. Mm. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, the rice is a bit hard. Maybe because they Italian, right? Yeah. They like al dente. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the rice cream is a bit yeah. starchy. But the flavor is quite legit. Next up, the Singapore style noodles. Check it out. So, we have the noodles below. Oh, look at that. Got some cabbage, ham, carrot, on this uh, springy looking noodle. It's like Maggi noodles, huh? kind of. Maybe that's why they call it Singapore style. Not really sure. And they got this uh, raw lettuce at the top. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm laughing because it's Singaporean but not Singaporean. I'm saying it's Singaporean because one bite, the aroma of the curry. It's also kind of zesty, got the lime, the lemon, the zest, and of course it's Asian flavor, right? So all the mix of the flavor makes it Singaporean. But we don't have a dish like this in Singapore. <laughs> it's so interesting. So delicious though. I feel like we should have this in Singapore. I want my wife's opinion. She's Singaporean. It's got a bit like, like the curry seasoning taste. You know like curry? It's not like Maggi but... curry seasoning. Yeah, but it's nice. Ah. Yeah, like you said, it's like, I never tried this in so. <laughs> Next up, the assorted dumplings. By the way, this plate was 4.5 euros, so that's like 6.5 Singapore dollars. So the price point is uh, slightly higher than Singapore, I believe, but they are pretty. Got four different types. Yeah, start from wh which one do you want, Mikey? Which is anything? Up. Okay, I'll start from the most traditional gyoza. I'm gonna pour some dumpling sauce over it. Oh, I miss this so much. Mm. I'm sorry, but this might be the best thing I had on this trip. Oh my gosh. The skin is slightly thick, but it got a nice al dente, amazing texture, silky. And the inside, the meat is so sweet, so soft, so traditional, super authentic. Next up, the shumai. Mm. It's super authentic. And next up, I think it's the leek dumpling. Slightly earthy, herby. Mm, delicious. And the shaolampo. Okay, the, the, the skin is like super tough. Look at this. Super tough, but how's the flavor? I love the flavor, but no soup inside. But still, it's delicious. Next up, the sweet and sour pork. Looks delicious and smells amazing. It looks slightly different from the one I know in Singapore. It's kind of like dark, like brownish instead of uh, being like tomato-y cutter. Mm. Wow. Oh my God, that is delicious. The pork is so tender, chewy, got a nice, nice bouncy texture and the sauce. The familiar sauce, sweet and sour. Got some bones, but that's amazing. And we have this in Singapore too, right? Yeah. This is the most legit one of yeah. all. Yeah. And actually I'm quite surprised they didn't really like tweak tweak the taste much, you know. I thought it would be very Europeanized or something. Yeah. It didn't. I think the locals love it. So I'm quite happy. <laughs> you might think we're crazy, but I think I wanna dot ball this sauce if we can. This one. <laughs> we need this on our trip. So good. But personally, I do wish they put more vegetables. I think in Singapore, they'll put like pineapples, uh, more onions, carrots. But this one is like 
mostly pork, but still, again, this is amazing. Next up, the Soka Singapore style duck. Let me know in the comment, uh, can you look at this and tell me if this is a Singapore style duck because I'm not really sure if I've seen a dish like this in Singapore. It's very similar to Peking duck, but what's different is that it looks kind of like deep fried right here. I don't think Peking duck are like this. It might be their original. The ducks do look good. And for the price, uh, this is like 9 euros. The price is good. Okay, so I think I'm supposed to wrap it. Oh, the wrap is quite big. Almost like Prata. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Maybe that's why they call it Singapore style. Not really sure. It's like Loti Plata. It's a combination of Loti Plata and Peking duck. And the sweet sauce. Looks good though. Itadakimasu. The flavor you get is very similar to Peking duck because of the, uh, the sauce, right? But it's more meaty because they use a lot of duck meat instead of the duck skin. Very interesting. Wait. Actually, the sauce is quite different. Huh? I think I'll just lick it. More um, salty. It's actually not too sweet. Interesting. It's like a... It's, yeah, it's quite different from Peking duck. Behold, my Singaporean viewers, this is the Singapore style duck. It's not bad. My question is, do you think this dish will be approved by Singaporeans? <laughs> she said no. <laughs> it's like, uh, it's not bad. It's like, uh, it's like duck tacos. <laughs> Imagine Italians became a fan of Singaporean restaurant, but they only tried this. And then they come to Singapore and they'll be like, huh? It's so different. <laughs> They'll be like, oh, I like the Singaporean food in it Italy more. But they're not eating real Singapore food. <laughs> but again, the flavor is good. Lah. It's, it's, it's not bad. The price is also good, 9 euros for this. Actually, overall, all the food good. Yeah, quite satisfied. All right, so the bill was 34 euros. Feels very affordable. Yeah, great price, uh, great service. It felt quite cool listening to Chinese people speaking Italian. Perfect Italian. Very cool. And the food, unfortunately, none was really authentic, authentically Singapore. But the flavor was there. I, I loved it, personally. I find it quite funny that the restaurant is called Singapore, but they have absolutely zero authentic Singaporean cuisine. But again, the food was good. However, I found another Singapore restaurant in Italy, but it's not in Milan. It's at Bologna. So let's go to Bologna. Um, you saw it in the intro of this video. Um, I had no plan filming a vlog here, but I just had to. You guys have to come here. So today we're climbing to Cicada, one of the mountains, and we found a hut. We're enjoying our beer here and just check out the view. It's unbelievable. It's easily one of the most beautiful places I've visited. It might be the most beautiful. This is just really amazing. I want you guys to come here. I recommend just Google Dolomites. If you love nature, if you love hiking, this is the place and you'll find all the, a lot of these like cute huts. It's just so cute inside. It's just so cozy. The beer is great. And what's great about here is that it's Italy, so things are not crazy expensive. For example, this beer, beer is 3.8 euros. The bolognese that's coming is uh, 12 euros. So not too bad, and you get this view. Highly recommended. And here is the bolognese. The Italian pastas. The texture is different. So al dente, so firm, it's amazing. I'm so happy we came here. This place is just so beautiful. It's the highlight of a trip. After a great meal, it's time to burn some calories. Yes, let's go. Oh my God, can you be careful? <laughs> so we finally reached the iconic view of Cicada. Really surreal. Look at how bold and strong the mountains are. So those were all the delicious Venetian food we had. And it's finally time to head to the ancient city of Bologna to try Singaporean food. Hi, Bologna ni tsukimashita. Ja, sasogo Singapore yori tabete ikimashou. So we're almost reaching a Singapore restaurant, but check out what I found. Miyako, it's a Japanese restaurant. And I thought it's interesting how 
all the menus are very affordable. All you can eat lunch for 15 euros. なんかアジア食って海外だと安い傾向にあるんですね。アメリカもそうなんですけど、なんか安い店が多い。アジアだと逆になんか日本食とか高いんですよね。Anyways, almost reaching. Okay, guys, I found it, and I'm I'm laughing because I did some research this time because you know the last Singaporean restaurant served no Singapore food, right? And this one is called Singapore Restaurant, but the menu will surprise you. We got a table at the corner.、Um, we love the interior. It has such a atas vibe, you know. I would say even better than the first Singapore restaurant we tried. And this place is popular. It got 1,400 reviews on Google Maps, and the review is 4.0. And apparently, it's a buffet. It's an all-you-can-eat buffet, and it's like 16 euros, so very cheap. But there's one problem. So it's the same as the first restaurant.、Uh, the name is Singapore, but there's absolutely zero. Singapore food. So the majority are sushi. But there's also like udon, ramen, fried rice. You know all the typical Japanese and Chinese food. So I already knew about this because I did my research. But I, I thought it's just so funny. There's two restaurants in Italy called Singapore, which serves no Singapore food. And I found one angry、uh, Singaporean reviewing <laughs> reviewing on Google Maps. She's saying that the food is decent, but it's misleading to European Caucasian diners because they might think this is Singaporean cuisine, right? <laughs> I wanted to ask you: Do you actually serve Singaporean food? Oh no, because your restaurant is called Singapore, right? Do you know why? Actually, I don't know. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. I asked because maybe she might have had a secret Singaporean menu, but too bad, none. Sorry, we want to make sure. Is, is this a buffet? All you can eat. See, it's a buffet.、Uh, okay, okay. Thank you. We wanted to make sure because this place is too cheap. Yeah. はい、ちょっといくつかオーダーしました。で、あのこれはちょっとシンガポール料理っぽいのでオーダーしたんですが、it kind of looks like prawn satay, so that's why I got it. Okay, the moment of truth. いただきます。うん。Wow. I can't believe how. Plump, the shrimp is, and it does kind of taste similar to the Singaporean、uh, prawn satay, just like lightly salted. I don't know if it's intentional, but unexpectedly delicious. Next up is、uh, salmon. I think they abudied it with some. I think that's fake fish at the top, and my wife is saying this is very, very fishy, and it is kind of. I'm, I'm worried. Yeah, that's, that's the most fishy salmon I've, I've had, but <laughs> yeah, don't eat better. But the next one looks pretty good. So it's a roll sushi, and it's interesting how they put almond at the top. So it's kind of like California roll with salmon and almond. もう日本人が絶対やらないような組み合わせですね。Cheers. Wow. <laughs> Foreigners will love that. So it got it got that sweet tangy. Uh, teriyaki sauce. There's also shrimp inside. It's just very flavorful. And next up, I thought this was super interesting too. So they put pistachio at the top, and Italy is famous for pistachio, right? So I feel like it's a fusion between Japanese and Italian food. And I think it got this like mango sauce. It's kind of orangey. Yeah, that's mango sauce.、Mm. Very unique. Next up, fried beef. This. Yeah, this might potentially taste very authentic, like the ones you can get in Singapore. Mmm, that's the best so far.、We've、got wok hei, which I intensely miss. Great texture from the noodles too. Next up, dumplings. Mmm, this is probably frozen, but still amazing. <laughs> Again, it's our third week in EU, so something like this, we really appreciate. And my wife here ordered shumai. It got an interesting shape, right? Yeah. Hmm.、Mm, wow. Prawns. Prawns inside. Quite dry, but got a nice prawn flavor. Okay. Next up, more hot dishes.、Uh, I think this is kampong chicken. Oh, hanla! I love eating spicy dishes because EU the food are not really spicy. Hmm. <laughs> 
Look at its humongous red pepper. Mm. I missed you so much. Non stop. I can finish this my, by myself. The chicken is tender, the vegetables are crunchy and fresh. This one looks amazing too. They even lit a fire below it. That is a lot of work for 15 euros in total. I feel like the food here is overall great, but I feel so, so blessed. Like, at some countries, I'm able to find authentic, real Singaporean food, like UK uh, and Japan. Because in countries like France, uh, Italy, very difficult to find. All right, so the total was 35.8 euros, including the cover charge. Uh, it's around like 50 Singapore dollars, so obviously very affordable for Europe. And the conclusion is, I think, it's extremely difficult to find authentic Singaporean food in Italy. We visited two Singapore restaurants and both of them sold absolutely zero Singaporean food, which is kind of kind of sad. But before ending this video, here are some of the greatest food you can try at Bologna. Before ending the video, we came down to Filente to introduce you guys to one of the best steaks we know. All right, we're here, Trattoria Dado Steak. We came to Dao Oste. Last time we were in, we were in Firenze, this was the best we had. So we had to come back, and we got the Kia Nina beef. It's the most uh, one of the most ancient breed in Central Italy. We got like two thousand years of history, and look at how rare this is. So soft, tender, and flavorful. And I remember this fatty part melts in your mouth and it does oh my gosh super full um two things number one it does get kind of gelat so after like our third uh how to say third slice we were kind of like oh <laughs> it's getting quite overwhelming because the fatty content of the kianina beef is quite overwhelming it's quite quite strong very strong it's nice though it's nice but w when you're over like 30 years old it, it gets kind of overwhelming uh, number two, uh, we got a very good deal. The price was 82 euros. Um, it's because we booked it through their uh, official website and during uh, certain time slots, you can get like up to 30% discount. So we booked at 5.30 and we got 20% discount. But you need like a, I think you need an Italian phone number. So if you have an Italian phone number, definitely book it, it's way cheaper. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. That was, yeah, that will conclude this episode. Hope to see you guys again.